Hey guys. To the Nostalgia Institute. Please approach the electronic sign-in station in front of you and fill out your personal information so that we can verify your employment. Welcome to Nevermind. We're going to go uh yeah. Check this game out. I was sent this game about a week ago, had some heart rate monitor issues. I think I've got all those worked out now, so let's do this. <laughs> what? Don't pay attention to this. This is private information. Wade Minion 777. All right, let's put, I'll just put Wade Minion. When you guys know who I am. Should put Lord Minion. Should be my name. I'm too lazy to change now. I'm 24. Not 25 yet. YouTuber extraordinaire. Street 777. Oh. <laughs> Minion Drive. Uh, let's go with Cincinnati, Ohio. Childhood address? Um, seven 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 Minion Avenue, and we'll have been from uh, Minionsburg. State of confusion. I don't know what any of this means. I just play the games, man. Disturbing, strong psychological, physical, res physical response. I'm gonna be like <laughs> all over my microphone in the middle of recording this. I understand. This is just a game, and I can stop at any time. It's just a game. It's just a game. Thank you. You may proceed into the atrium, and welcome to your new career here at the Neurostalgia Institute. Are these doorways in, I guess I'm in relative to the couch on the right size, but these doors are enormous. How much did you guys pay for Beginning this? Beginning new hire automated tour. Please. Here at the Neurostalgia Institute, we help people who have experienced severe psychological traumas and specialize in cases of repressed memories. We are at the cutting edge of psychotherapy technology and are the last hope for patients who have found traditional therapy ineffective. You have been hired here at Neurostalgia as a neuroprober. It is your job to go into the subconscious of a patient, unearth clues in their psyche, and ultimately piece together the fragmented and repressed traumatic memory. In other words, you need to reconstruct the narrative of the trauma. You see, once a patient remembers, he or she can heal. In order to familiarize yourself with this process, please proceed to your new office in the back of the atrium. We left the door open for you. Thank you. Um, before I get started, this game was slash is still, I hope it's still in a fundraising uh, period. So if you guys are interested in supporting this game, you can click on a link in the description below to go to their fundraising page. It may already be over with. I got this kind of late and got it working kind of late into the fundraising period of time. Um, that being said, this game uses a heart rate monitor. So, it supposedly detects when I'm getting nervous and makes things worse for me as I get scared. And so then I get more scared, more scared, and so on and so on. So, um, this is, there's only one part of it that I was told was currently finished. So we'll only be playing the very first patient of this. Um, is what the person told me. Aaron Reynolds, I believe. So, Aaron told me there's only one patient that's ready to be worked on, explored, whatever. So that's all that I'm gonna see until this game's fully released, and I hope to get a chance to do another playthrough of it then. You know, I hope it's a good game. I've not really gotten a chance to explore it yet, but I'm kind of excited and I hope it works out. So let's get started. Welcome to your office. Please make yourself comfortable and review the inspirational and informational posters. Once you've reviewed the posters and you feel you're ready, please proceed to the door just outside your office. Your first patient is waiting. Calm down, it will save the patient and your life. I feel like that's a key. These are keys. That's not... Well, I mean, that is in real life. <laughs> that's not important, you don't need to act professionally. Re -re Reacting as normal, recovery is key. Okay. Calm down. 
So, find photos, collect. Oh, okay. Find photos, collect the photo, find them all, determine which are about the trauma, and put them in the right order. So they've got like 10 photos here. And maybe only like half of them are real? If this is an indicator. 10 photos. I mean, this probably isn't. Uh, maybe, I don't know. I'm assuming we're going to find a bunch of photos. Some of them are real, some of them aren't real. I don't know how many we're going to find. I'm assuming around 10 since they have that there. And then we got to put them in order. Maybe like half of them or seven of them are real and the other few aren't or something. Put them in order, it said, right? Put them in the right order. Okay. So we're hunting for photos. I hope this isn't like slender where I'm running around just like grabbing things and things are chasing me. Relax, you're in control. Take a deep breath, close your eyes, picture yourself in a calm place. Hawaii. Mm -hmm. All right. They need your help. All right, let's do this. Oh, okay, the door right here. Patient A. Oh, I didn't get to finish reading that! Ah! Oh. Hope that wasn't, like, the whole storyline there. Um, I guess I don't know where to start. Anywhere? Okay. Uh, well... I've been a real estate agent for the past 20 years. I graduated from a small college just about half an hour from here, actually. loved cats. <laughs> I hate churches. Ugh. I guess I've always been a little bit of a loner. I really hate how people look at me. Uh, especially lately. Uh, I honestly felt pretty, I don't know, normal. Until about a couple of years ago, after my mother's death. That was when things started to come apart. Do you ever feel like people are just staring at you? Like when you walk into a room and staring. everyone knows something they're not telling you? I don't know, I, I just feel awful when I'm around people. Guilty, angry, and, uh, I, I, I had a pretty happy childhood. My dad passed away when I was just a kid. My mother told me that he died in a car accident. I don't remember that day. That beard. Okay. Mom loved wine. People staring at her makes her uncomfortable. Dad had a beard. Car accident. Me having a tea party. It was so hot. I remember being thirsty. Okay. Guess we're supposed to go inside? I'm trying. It's your fault. You pay them then. Fighting about the bills. Okay. I feel so tiny. Oh, I guess we're a little girl right now, so that makes sense. <clears throat> Ooh. Puzzles. Blow away your parents. Sugar and spice. Santa and the expense book. Does this seem really staticky to you guys?
Am I making it staticky? That's a kitty cat. Okay, she liked cats, so there's a cat. That's something. Okay, lots of things to do with puzzles. Keep mentioning puzzles. Puzzles are important. I know there's a staircase, but I don't want to go up the stairs. I'm in the shower right now. Okay. What's that say? This is home. Something you're worried. Leave your worries at the door. Okay. Knives. That's creepy. It's a very clean looking. Clean. It's clean. Clean looking kitchen. Okay. Okay. I guess we gotta go upstairs because there's like nothing else going on down here. I'm trying to like hunt for pictures, but I'm not seeing any. So let's go upstairs. I know there's a staircase here. I played like for a second. I want to make sure the heart rate monitor was working. So I loaded this up, got through the patient part and got here, literally opened the door, saw a bunch of static whenever I noticed the staircase was long and scary, shut it down, started it back up again. So that's how I know the heart rate monitor was working now. <sighs> so let's do this. Dark. Sorry, my phone's going off. Alright. Flashing light. Creep. Oh, it's the light making noise. Alright, we got teacups. What? Teacup. Turn the lights off and go to sleep, honey. Oh my god. God, okay. Just give me a second to explore, Daddy. Those are that's something. Okay, never mind. I don't need to go there. Love, love, love. I wonder if time is important. It is three o'clock, according to that. To see the dark, you must kill the light. Okay. That was a gunshot. I heard a gunshot. I heard a gunshot. Somebody got murdered. Okay. Grab. Gotta hold it. Thank you for the tea party. Why are we holding a teacup? Oh. Put them back. Okay, I don't know why. Uh, I guess we're supposed to put all the teacups back. Puzzles! It's a puzzle. Teacups. Puzzles. Ha! I should have made the connection. That's not a clue. It's what I'm supposed to do. Puzzles. What does putting a bunch of tea? It gives us a photo. Mommy's favorite drink is grown-up grape juice. It smelled gross. Okay. So there's her drinking wine again. So we've had two references to her drinking wine. Teacups and we were thirsty. So thirsty is important. And wine's important. What is it about drinking wine? What do we have here? Cows in a storm. A gun permit for daddy? Oh, I'm taller than you, daddy. I mean, not here, I'm a little girl, but in real life, Wade, me is. Shut up. I'm sorry, I'm confused myself. And no face, sad woman. Marriage. Sad marriage? Is 
this? Okay, let's look. The solutions, volume two, that which lies before you can be realized through that which has been left behind you. Oh, okay. What? Love, 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 money. Oh, we can. Oh, the pictures. Uh, what was it? Cow, daddy, gun, sad marriage. Cow, daddy, gun, sad marriage. <laughs> Things I say. Cow, daddy, gun, tree. Is there a tree? There's no tree. So it's not tree. Cow. Cows, storm. No, no, no. No, jigsaw, no. Milk. Milk is cow's milk. Uh, what was this one? Daddy? Daddy gun. Okay, maybe it's gun. Is there a daddy? No, so it's gun. Sad marriage. Love. No. Not money. Shower, no. Nothing to do with a shower. Tree, doll. I really hope I'm not just, like, way off base here. Love? We tried love. It's not money. Maybe they were sad about money. Sad. Sad. Sorrow. Sorrow was one. Oh! Daddy and his letters. He never wanted to play after the mailman brought new ones. Okay, so daddy was really sad about... Oh, there's a gun there. Okay. That freaked me. I thought we were about to kill ourselves on accident. Ugh. Okay, so I have a feeling... No, mom died after dad, so dad didn't kill mom. Dad was depressed about money and bills. Daddy owned a gun, but daddy died in a car accident. Wine. Daddy drank mommy's wine and died in a car accident? Daddy went to go kill himself with a gun, but died in a car accident along the way? Oh, um, okay. Whoa. Oh my. This is disoriented. She's my daughter. Just play safe for a while. I can't tell her that. Hi, sweetie. What? Okay, this is. I did my best. I have it under control. Go. This is our fourth photo, right? I think that we said that we'd be. Like, I think I'm expecting like ten. I wanted a drink, so I tried to pour some milk. I made such a mess. I should tell mom or dad. Okay, so she's thirsty, but mom's drinking wine. Bays and woes. Mom. Away. Why can't you pay the bill? I'm trying. It's your fault. You pay them then. Go away. Okay. <laughs> um, that. Ooh, God, the deer and the statues. There weren't statues before. Are those all pictures? Okay. Relax, Wade. Just tr Okay. Daddy's scratched out. Car. Something's not adding up with the car and the gun. Puzzle. Bills. Daddy was very sad about these bills. What? Okay. That was freaky. <sighs> Relax, wait. It's okay. Calm down. They're allowed to randomly scream in your ear. Hi, kitty. Sorry, kitty. Okay, we need to relax. <sighs> we need to relax. Puzzle piece. 
Right, okay. Collect them, we'll figure out where they're going later. It's just gonna keep screaming randomly, isn't it? Okay, we got a puzzle here. That's gonna be a top piece. Okay. I used to build puzzles with my grandpa all the time. And my grandma too, actually, whenever I was young. My brother would help out. I have a really fun uh, memory of doing puzzles with my family. So, this is kind of sad that this is like a bad memory, I guess related to a bad memory. Daddy wouldn't do puzzles. I used to build some really cool stuff. I really, really miss those days. Just a little fact about Wade you may not have known. I'm a person too. Okay. Are we missing pieces? Didn't know I was doing that. Where are the other pieces? Okay, there's one. Thanks for the picture. Uh, this is what, picture number five? We got, two, we got two upstairs, one on the tree, one in the hallway, and then this one. So this is number five. Mommy always waved goodbye to daddy when he drove to work. Okay. I'm not gonna leave this room just yet. They're probably gonna scream at me again. I want to look at the picture. Okay. Tea party of some kind. Drinking. Drinking is important to this. <laughs> you guys can see my fear as the static in the room changes. Okay. Okay. You got me, game. I was ready for that, and then I wasn't. Okay, then we already looked at those. Daddy either killed himself with a gun or driving or something because of the bills. <laughs> 